Hello, my feline friends. Do we have kittens for dinner? Mmm, we got a plate full of kittens. Yum, yum, yum. You guys sure look tasty. Mmm, so cute I could just eat you up. Hi, Mama Cat. What's up, guys? Today I am actually doing this kitten watch video by myself. Mama Cat is actually only affectionate towards me and comes out of her cave when I come in the room. But as you guys know, she was a stray cat. And I think that's a thing that shy animals tend to come around a little easier to women than they do men. Men are a little bit more intimidating than women are. They have deeper voices, are bigger, etc. See that little tail shake that she's doing? Does anyone know what that means? She always does that. She rubs up against my legs and then shakes her tail like that. I've never seen a cat do that before. If anyone knows a lot about cats and cat behavior, can someone please tell me what that means when she shakes her tail like that? Well, today we are going to name the kittens. We took all of your suggestions. We read all the comments for the kitten names. And you are crawling on my leg. You guys like to climb up my legs, huh? Let's start with Mama Cat. Are you comfortable, Mama Cat? Are you content? Mama Cat, I actually picked the name for Mama Cat. I'm going to name Mama Cat Bengal. I think that's a really pretty name. I know the name Tiger for an orange striped cat is kind of cliche, but I feel like Mama Cat, since she was a stray, she needs like a strong wild cat's name. And I've never met a cat named Bengal, and I think it's a really pretty name. Next, we have the first little orange kitty, and we are gonna name you Fred, and the other little kitten, he's behind the toilet. And we are going to name this little orange kitten George. That was one of the top rated comments you guys left to name the ginger kittens Fred and George. Next we have the little calico that's mostly black and I am going to name her Athena. I really like that suggestion. I just think it fits. Athena is the goddess of war and wisdom in Greek mythology and this little kitten is the mischievous one. She's very very clever and very smart but she seems awfully curious and she always scratches up my legs so I just think it fits and finally we have the little runt of the litter come out here hey and we are going to name her Gizmo John really liked that name he said it re she reminds him of a Gizmo so there you go guys, we have all the names for the kittens. Fred and George are the little ginger twins, Gizmo is the runt, and Athena is the one that's mostly black. Mama Cat, are you happy needing your paws? Mama. Or Bengal, I need to stop calling you Mama. I think that's what you're used to now. I think she might think her name is Mama and I gotta start calling her Bengal. Yes, come here. So this little kitten here that we named George actually has a home, which we are so happy about. John's friend Max wants to take him. He came over and saw the kittens and he just fell in love with him. And he's going to take that little kitten home. And then here, Athena, the mischievous one, also may have a home. It's not for sure yet, but one of our other friends might take Athena. And then we still have to find homes for the other two. You, you need a home, but you're adorable, so I don't think we'll have a hard time finding one. No, I don't. No, I don't. You already have one. Quit asking for attention, you little purring thing. And you still need a home, but you are also adorable, so I don't think we're going to have a hard time for you either. They're always, like, crawling between my legs and everywhere. These kittens are so people friendly already, it's amazing. They just love people. The second I, we walk into the cat room, they all come running out and they're meowing and meowing and they just absolutely love people. So they're going to make great cats for whoever adopts them.